you kind of don't need to know how to prompt really well anymore, at least for most cases anyway. You see, OpenAI have released a new feature within system instructions within your playground. If you don't know how to get there, I've done a bunch of videos on how to do that. But there's these new little stars here and it says describe what you're using the model for and we'll generate system instructions. So practically generate a prompt for you. It's a bit of a take on this tool from Anthropic, the guys who made Claude. This generate a prompt, which kind of does the same thing. It just improves your prompt that you give it dramatically. Let's test it out and see what we get. So I'm gonna put a prompt here that says, I want an assistant that will take my transcription from a TikTok video and turn that into an insightful blog post. I'm gonna hit create and see what happens. You probably do need some credits in your API key from the OpenAI Playground, but knowing how to do that just opens up your world so much into using these tools, even if you don't know anything about coding. Trust me, it's very simple, but the learning curve is very short. And after that, you kind of are off to the races with building so many any useful applications. And here we see that the output is obviously a lot better than my input, which is the whole idea. <laughs> it just formats this a lot better than, than I could ever would, or I would have to go back and forth with ChatGPT quite a lot to be able to do this very well. If you wanna learn how to access and how to use the playground for your own projects and how to build your assistance, we have a very cool online community called the AI Ranking. We have a classroom section here, but if you scroll all the way down, we have AI fundamentals and well, we teach you just that. For example, here in the playground, we show you how to get set up on the playground so you can maximize these tools because they're available for everyone and they're not that difficult to use. You just need someone to point you in the right direction and that is what we're there for. Additionally, it's a community of very like-minded people and also twice a week, we meet up and we have live Q and A's where if something goes wrong within your journey of you learning, well, we're here to support you because also other people are going through the same thing and we can answer all your questions. So if you're getting a bit of FOMO and you wanna start learning how to use all these tools, you should check it out. You can go to the link in the bio and read all about it there.